in this question, it says a hemispherical tank is made up of an iron sheet, which is one centimeter thick. Further, it says that if the inner radius is one meter, then find the volume of the iron used in making the tank. As you can see, I have uh, uh, taken a hemisphere and I'm taking this as the inner radius. And let's say adding the thickness, this will give you the outer radius. Like this one is the outer radius. So I'm taking inner radius, which is mentioned here as with small r. And I'm using, uh, it's instead of writing one meter, I'm writing 100 centimeter so as to reduce the calculation involved. And the thickness, the thickness is, uh, this part is the, called the thickness, right? As you can see in the figure, this is called the thickness. And thickness is also mentioned as one centimeter. So I'll write this as one centimeter. As you must be able to see here, if I add this, Add this thickness to the inner radius will get the outer radius. So therefore, I'm using capital R to indicate the outer radius. And that is how much it is 101 centimeter. So once we have this, we have to find the volume. So for that, you need to see this figure clearly that if we subtract the inside hemisphere, if I subtract this inside hemisphere from this outside, right, we should get the volume of the material used by that means to say the volume which is uh, occupying here is this right so volume which is this part is the volume this is the portion where the material is used in making so we are going to find this by removing this inside volume from this outside that should give us the volume of the material used in making this tank. Okay. This is what we have to calculate. So from this outside volume, we are going to remove this inside volume. And how is that possible? We are taking that outside volume. The first we are finding the required volume of the material will be V1, say outside volume minus V2, the inside volume. Now replacing V as it is a hemisphere. So its volume is two by three pi capital R as it is the outside minus two by three pi small r cube. As you can see clearly that we have something to take common. So we'll take common and that is capital R whole cube minus small r whole cube. In the next part, we are going to replace this pi with 22 over seven and 100 with 101 and the radius with 101 and the inner radius with 100. All informations are given here. Later with more calculations, I'm doing this part. That is, this is 44 over 21. And this calculation is all the big, but we have to do is 101 into 101 into 101. So this will give you, this is 1030301 minus, this is one followed by six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you subtract this number, you'll get that is three zero three zero one. All right. This if I subtract, we'll get this value and uh, we'll multiply this with 44 it comes out to be one three 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 two four four that divided by 21. So if you divide, you'll get in centimeter cube. Final calculations will be, this is six, three, four, eight, seven centimeter cube approximately. That should be the answer in centimeter cube. And this will be the required volume of this material, material which is used in making this tank right over this.